Alrighty, hope y'all doing well, man. Welcome back to another Attack on Titan Day, baby. If you're wondering why I'm kind of out of breath, or it might seem like I'm sweating a bit, it's because I just watched episode 14. Make sure to go check that out if you haven't already. God damn, bro. I, I, I don't know how many times I jumped out of my seat. I'm like, God, dude, like the, the intensity of that episode was just... It, it, it was out of this world, bro. You cannot put a table scene with Mikasa and Armin and Aaron fighting about their ideals and actually, you know, actually fighting. You know, Armin threw a good ass punch at Aaron and that man Aaron was beating his ass. But you're like, you, and, and you can't put Levi versus Zeke round three and also Levi killing all his comrades, bro. You cannot do that to me. I'm, I'm not gonna survive until the end of Attack on Titan. And people are saying that, bro, shit is just getting started. Ivory, don't worry, bro. Trust me that this chair is gonna be broken by the end of, of the whole Attack on Titan series. I'm like, god damn, Isayama, how do you do it, bro? Because every every episode, I'm thinking like, there's no way Attack on Titan can get any better, bro. Like this is the peak, bro. Like this is everything that I've ever wanted. And people are saying like, yo, just wait, dude. Shit is gonna be hype. I'm like, fuck's sake, my expectations are through the roof. But we are here, ladies and gentlemen to watch the next episode since two episodes came out today um i don't know if this episode is hype or anything like that i feel like i'm gonna pass out on camera so you guys are about to see a live death right now if i pass out bro but i am ready like i said last episode we had the table scene aaron mikasa and armin they were talking and stuff like that I, uh, god damn like i i still need to process that i definitely need to go back and just watch that a lot more times just to get everyone's ideals solidified in my brain and then the Levi and Zeke round three. That shit was, oh my God, bro. That dude, Levi is a monster. That dude cannot be stopped. I, re I, I actually refuse to believe that this dude can be killed. Like this dude is actually a demon, bro. That dude is a demon. He killed all his comrades that turned into pure Titans. And he took that man Zeke out. And that, that boy was torturing him at the end of that episode. I'm just ready to continue this, guys. But unfortunately, the next episode after this one is the last episode of the season. I am holding out hope for, for, a, for a part two. I know some people say there might be a movie. I'm personally hoping for a part two because I don't know. Like I, I just love the community aspect of every episode coming out and, and us discussing it together every week. I feel like it's like a special day, you know, and it just, I don't know, it, it makes my week, you know? So I'm, I'm super excited to get into this, guys. So yeah, everybody, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. It's super easy, it takes like one second. Of course, you guys can always change your mind later. Also, make sure to click that like button. It really helps the board a lot, but nonetheless, let's get it. So what are we getting? We getting some some Zeke backstory? Oh, with Grisha again? Okay, that's this is kind of dope. We got Dinah here, baby Zeke, or kid Zeke, I guess. Eldian. Oh, Cor look how fast this dude's demeanor changes. This little bitch right here, bro. Look how fast this man changes as soon as he saw the armband. Fuck off, bro. Damn, Grisha, like I said, he was still pushing his ideals on Zeke. So I wonder if we're going to see exactly what was the turning point that, that made Zeke decide to betray Grisha and his mom. Because as we know, um, Zeke did, you know, turn them in into the, the police. And then Zeke is now a Marleyan warrior. So I'm wondering exactly if this was all according to his plan that he came up, which I assume it, it is, but like, I don't know exactly what his plan is. I don't know, this is really interesting. So, cause so far we, we know, uh, we know a lot about Zeke, but we also don't know a lot if that makes sense, bruh. I, I don't know, this is really interesting because honestly, we don't know that much about Zeke. I'm really interested to see his life you know, with, with, with Grisha as a kid, you know, besides, you know, Grisha pushing his ideals and, you know, the mission upon Zeke. Also interested to see, you know, him as a Marleyan warrior, uh, you know, growing up, exactly how things were. I just want to know more about Zeke's mindset. Just the, all the Jaeger's mindset, him and Aaron, bro, just there's so many unanswered stuff that I still want to know. But obviously, we still have a lot more to go, guys, because <laughs> Jesus, bro, this this story is just amazing, man. There's just so much you can take away from this. But all right, some Zeke backstory, a Zeke episode. No problem with that. Go ahead, drop that. Episode 74, episode 15, Soul Salvation. That's a really dope name too. That man, Zeke training right now. Okay, so he was in the Marley. Okay, so he was a Marley and uh, warrior candidate by now. Has <laughs> the commander right there? Okay, so he was the... Uh... He was the beast titan. Okay, so Grisha and and Dino, they're they're still here. I never I never honestly thought I was gonna see like kind of the the lead up to 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 the betrayal. 
Or if Zeke even thinks he's betraying them, you know? Wow, those are the visuals from the um the creepy ass ending from uh, season two. I always thought like the visuals in that was absolutely like that was actually horrifying. It's kind of interesting that they're showing it right now. I mean, you can tell that man Zeke is like, bro, I do not want to hear this stuff. Grisha's already, you know, pounding this information into me. Damn, the sister, huh? That dude Zeke was struggling. My man Commander McGath here. Damn. You can tell that Zeke does not want to be a warrior. He just wants to be treated like a normal son. That is kind of sad, though, because, like, we also know Grisha's, you know, he he wants Eldia to be free, too. So, damn. There's just so many perspectives you can look at this from. He just wants to be praised, dude. That's it. Yeah, so Zeke was basically an outcast when he was training to be a Marlin warrior. He's a good thrower. Oh, my God. That's so that's so funny how they're like, you know, referencing that because he throws stuff as a beast titan. And that right there. So that's the beast titan. So I wonder what he looks like as the beast titan. I wonder. I mean, I, I don't think he'll look the same as Zeke. See, I'm getting that sympathy for Zeke right now. Good grace. It's Falco's dad, right? Damn, Zeke spying. They caught him. Damn, you know how much pressure you're putting on this boy right now? That boy Zeke's still behind. Damn, and his dad is looking at him like, bruh, there's no way he can't do it. God damn! Holy fuck! This dude Zeke was going through it. Oh my god, Grisha! Bro! 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 Oh my god! This dude Grisha was on demon time about Zeke! Holy fuck. I cannot imagine being Zeke in this position. Imagine you underperforming in your in your warrior training right now that you don't even want to do. You just want to be able to spend normal time with your parents like a normal kid. You know, even if we're in the internment zone, bro. Like he you just wants to be treated like a kid. This guy, um Cassaver the uh the, the beast sign right now. I feel like Zeke is looking at him more as a father figure than Grisha right now. Like like Saver, he's the beast titan right now he's holding it he's playing catch with him and everything like that you know grisha like zeke he underperforms in his warrior training he gets roasted at his training by mcgath and he's outcasted by the other kids he goes home his dad's like he doesn't believe in him he, he's raging he, he's breaking shit it's just like god oh that sympathy is going strong right now for zeke i mean of course that still doesn't i mean i guess that I can I can understand why he turns his dad in right now, but like I don't think Zeke would do it out of just like pure like malice or rage that like damn my dad doesn't spend time with me. I'm gonna turn him in and stuff like that, get him arrested and whatnot. But honestly, Grisha, shit, you kinda you kinda doing this to doing him doing doing this to your son right now. Like holy fuck. Jesus. That shit got like super real. Damn. Alright. Let's continue more. I'm really interested about this right now. Uh, I'm really liking this Zeke, this Zeke development. Damn, I wonder what would happen if Zeke grew up normally. Damn, even this boy right here said it's like, yo, it's dumb to give your life to Marley. <laughs> so Cassava right here, he doesn't even care about like Marley on that type of on that type of level, you know. He just wants to reveal the mysteries of the Titans right now. He wants to get all this information. I definitely can see why Zeke thinks this man is a, more of a father figure than Grisha for sure. So this kind of gave him a little faith. He's like, okay, it's fine if I don't leave this zone. Don't leave this zone as long as, you know, I'm, I'm with my family. I'm not alone and stuff like that. Oh, the owl, that, that, that man Kruger. Oof, oof. Okay, so Zeke. So Zeke actually knew that they were starting to catch on to the, the restorationist. Grisha, come on, boy. Come on, man. Can't even smile your own son like that. Oh, yeah, Grisha is not gonna like that. I can't even blame Zeke for thinking like that, bro. Damn, even Dinah too. Oh, you did not just say that. Oh, yeah, sheesh. Stepped on a nerve. Grisha's voice actor, though, is going off this episode. Holy fuck. This episode is powerful. Holy shit. Damn, so even he, he told Xaver that? Oh, I can understand why he did it now, I think. I think that's why he turns them in. So Zeke can carry on the will. Oh, yo! Zeke really did that shit. They never loved you. You've done nothing wrong. Ha! Ah, but we also know Grisha's perspective of this too. Zeke's arm, bro. That man's throwing. Wait, is he a little older right now? Ooh, okay. That man kind of, okay. He's looking suave. Oh, yeah, yeah. His term's coming up. 
Oh shit, okay. It's, uh, Reiner, Annie, and the rest of them. That's dope. Hold on, dude. Zeke, he getting it complicated on me. Zeke's kind of rising up. One of my favorite characters. This backstory was so important for me to actually, like, start to like him more. It was so interesting that Cassaver, out of everybody, was the one that kind of pushed Zeke to betray or, or turn, report his family in so that he's spared, you know? This man, Cassaver, is, is shook in disbelief. Damn! Holy fuck! That's brutal! Ah, that's so brutal, actually. Damn. Sliced her in the son's throat when they found out that Cassaver was Eldian. See, even Cassaver, I feel like he sees Zeke as kind of his own son in a way. Exactly, yep. And then Zeke, same way, looked at Cassaver like a dad. Or at least like a father figure. But to retake the founding titan and save the world. Exactly. Zeke looks cool like this, bruh. I'm so used to him having the beard and everything. Okay. I like that. I like that. This is something I haven't told Marley. A way to break the vow renouncing war. Because uh, Zeke has royal blood. He's able to do it. So this is where he learned it from. It's going to be Aaron. The founding titan. Our euthanization plan. Aaron. Exactly. Yup. Zeke becomes the beast titan. He puts the glasses on. Father! Hey! Reiner and Bertolt? Damn! Ooh, so Zeke found out that Grisha was still alive. That's why he says he's gonna rescue him. Wow! Okay, is this when Zeke meets up with Eren? I forgot how menacing Eren looks with, like, his hair down and stuff like that. Mmm! He said, yo, dad was wrong and I'm wrong too. Damn, there's no greater salvation than not being born in this world so this is when he decided to go along with the plan to start the rumbling right i keep moving forward there it is brother nissan he got him brother oh my god zeke crying and every <laughs> why is that so touching it's so touching you man start crying damn this was a good episode bro this gave me so much insight into everyone's mindsets our soul salvation is Eldia's euthanization. Oh, Damn, I, I do feel bad for Zeke though right now. Jesus, I saved lives from this cruel world. Ah! Wait, did he trigger the, the thunder spear? Oh my God. There's no way. There's no way he goes out like this. Levi? Holy fuck. Oh my God, Levi. Oh my God. He triggered the thunder spear? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, Levi got hit with that! Levi got hit with that! He triggered the Thunder Spear? Really? Why isn't my camera focusing? Holy fuck! What an end, dude! That was a cliffhanger and a half! That was a fucking cliffhanger and a half right there! Wow, bro! I get it! I get it. Oh my god, dude. Zeke. Zeke. I think I think Zeke's one of my favorite characters now, dude. This episode was so important, bro. I I like the, the hype is there. Like I, I know like the last episode was super dope too and it was really important, but like yo, this one really made me understand Zeke's character a lot more. The philosophy of the Jaeger brothers, the euthanization of Eldia. Jeez, dude. Holy fuck, dude. That man, Zeke, said, okay. That man triggered the Thunder Spear. I don't know if Zeke is dead because of that. But Levi, he got hit with that. It looked like he went flying. Levi did not did, did not expect that to happen. Holy. Okay, we got to... Uh, I'm sorry. like My brain's a little bit jumbled. Okay, we got to see this preview of the last episode of this season. I got to see this preview. The futures they seek are incompatible. All they can do. Okay, Yelena and everybody. Niccolo. In the place it all began. Shiganshina. Above and below. Damn, they, did, they really did not show that much. They really did not show that much. Damn, in the place it all began. We're right back to square one in Shiganshina, the hometown. Oh my god, episode 75 to fuck's sake. 75 episodes of Attack on Titan. Oh my god. Oh, I have to wait another week. Fuck's sake. This episode was so good.
this episode was so good damn I, I i do see i'm not gonna lie i do see grisha in a different light now now that i see a little bit more insight into how he treated zeke and stuff like that i can't really blame him and then he kind of did the same thing to aaron and then even aaron said yo my dad was wrong even i was wrong too it's like oh my god i don't even know what to say dude like i'm like i'm, I'm dumbstruck there was so much shit happening in these two episodes and it gets better than this it gets better it, it feels like the peak the peak attack on titan peak attack on titan okay so the next episode it looks like yelena is, is talking to everybody you know you know nicolo you know jean mikasa they're all locked up right now and everyone's going back to the place where it all began in shiganshina zeke that dude was saying to levi like bro i saved these people i saved their children from this cruel world oh no it was oddly touching seeing um aaron call uh zeke brother and then zeke started crying he's like damn like we are really about to do this we're gonna save the world together we're going to save the world see this is that thing again it's like i don't think i hate aaron i can't really i, I don't really hate zeke either i don't really hate and it's like so hard it's like it, it's just certain stuff different perspectives and everything I, I don't i wouldn't say i'm a jaegerist but at the same time i understand I understand where they're coming from. Flock, fuck that dude though. Flock can, can go to hell, honestly. That dude is just, he's getting too cocky. He's getting too arrogant and shit like that. I do not like him. I do not like it at all. That man, that man is playing a game here. I do not like that, bro. And I also cannot forget that Reiner, Peak, and everybody else, they're here. They, they, they've been watching, so I don't know when shit's about to pop off with that, but man, what? what these two episodes of attack on titan masterpieces like jesus i just cannot say that enough guys well i i gotta think some more i <laughs> it's so hard for me to put my thoughts into words right now like it, it literally has left me like speechless basically but everybody we got one more episode of attack on titan after this and that's gonna be it i guess we'll wait for a part two or the movies or a continuation or something man but Everybody, it's been a pleasure, man. Uh, you know, you know, you got two videos today. Definitely, these are just hype as hell. I absolutely loved watching these along with you guys. And uh, make sure to leave down in the comments below how you guys enjoyed this episode, man. And if you haven't already, make sure to go check out my previous reaction to episode 14 that I just released a couple hours ago. But yeah, everybody, uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Super easy. It takes like one second. Of course, you guys can always change your mind later. Also, make sure to click that like button. It really helps the boy out a lot. But nonetheless, it's been your boy Ivory, and I'm out. Peace.